Hi, this is Dr. Bernstein with another session of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today we're going to talk about the effects of anxiety upon blood sugar. Now, uh, there are many kinds of anxiety and there uh, are many causes and anxiety does not always affect blood sugar. But I'll go into some specific situations and uh, uh, to give you just some examples. Uh, when, I, when my first book came out, I was invited to address the American Association of Diabetes Educators. And I was waiting for the uh, room to fill up, for the auditorium to fill up, and it was a very big room, and to my uh, surprise, uh, not only did the room fill up, but uh, there was standing room and the room was overflowing. And I felt as if my blood sugar were low. I was sure it was, that it was too low. So I had my great big three pound blood sugar meter with me uh, and I did a blood sugar and it was high. I hadn't even gotten up to speak yet and my blood sugar was elevated. What felt like hypoglycemia was the rapid heart rate and the tremors I got from anxiety. Uh, so you can mix up the symptoms of hypoglycemia with anxiety uh, because your body produces epinephrine under both conditions. Epinephrine or adrenaline will speed up the heart dry the mouth, uh, and give you a variety of symptoms that uh, uh, are similar under both conditions. Uh, years later, when uh, I first appeared on television, I didn't have any symptoms. Uh, I had a normal blood sugar before I started. Uh, you know, you hide behind the lights until they call you in and I come out before the lights, uh, get interviewed, do whatever I was going to do, and then I go back behind the lights and check my blood sugar, and whammo, it's up by a hundred. Uh, I wasn't shaking, I didn't feel anxious, but my blood sugar went up by a hundred. And the next time I was on television, it may have gone up by fifty. And I had to appear a few times and get used to it, before it stopped going up. Now, what would I do if it went up? Uh, I could get an intramuscular shot of regular insulin to bring it down, or I could let it ride until I got home, but with that big an increase, uh, that is with an increase of 100, I wasn't gonna let it stay there. I was gonna do something to bring it down. Now, since I've been in medical practice, I've had patients who are performers, musical artists, who, whose blood sugars would go up after a performance. I've had teachers whose blood sugar, who teach for years, and their blood sugars go up after every class. So what do we do about that uh, to prevent it from happening uh, once we see that it's happening on a regular basis? You could uh, take propranolol, which is a beta blocker that stops the effects of epinephrine, stops the rapid heart rate, stops the dry mouth, and also stops the blood sugar increase. It's epinephrine that is the critter behind the blood sugar increase. So uh, 10 milligrams of propranolol taken 10 minutes before the event should uh, curtail uh, the blood sugar problem that the event can cause. And we have kids whose blood sugars go up before a soccer game. I had one uh, girl was captain of the basketball team. And again, propranolol could stop her blood sugar increases during the game. Um, if you're a child, you may 
need less than 10 milligrams. Uh, sometimes there's trouble convincing the pediatrician to give a child propranolol because they're not used to using propranolol. Propranolol is usually used for people with hypertension or heart disease who are older people. Um, but if your pediatrician watches this vid video, maybe he can understand that it's perfectly benign stuff and you could cut the dose down in proportion to the size of uh, a child. Uh, that's about it, about this kind of anxiety, and uh, this kind of anxiety is pretty easy to treat or prevent. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you at the next session. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.